You know what accent is actually super, uh, super cute on a girl that's not Australian, that's American actually? Chicago accents. It's the weirdest shit. Hold on, I took notes on this. They say O's like ah. Like. Like bond, a bond is bond. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's a bond. Like James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. Or a stop sign? It's a stop sign. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because they, like, the, the girl I was talking to, she talks pretty normal for everything else. But then randomly, she, she said that shit, I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? Your family bond? You know, like, what about your family bond? It's just pretty good. It's true. Yeah, because I couldn't figure it out. Like, I knew, I knew she had an accent, but I couldn't figure out what it was. So I took a note on it. I was like, what words is this coming out on? Does she say what? I don't even know what you spelled out. Is that M-A-L-K? <laughs> See, okay. Zoki Marco said, wait. I never realized I actually do have a Chicago accent. Jesus. See, dude? That's what I'm saying. She had no idea either. She had no idea she had an accent. And I was like, do you realize you say bond? Your family bond? Your stop sign? Yeah, when people say the word Chicago, you know, there's that thing too. But that's, that's a weird thing. Is Rip trying to go to Westeros? Man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, it doesn't really matter, right? Accents or whatever. That's why I don't really care that I have an accent. My accent is not um, easy to pick up on either. Right? But I definitely say a lot of words weird. Like, parfect. Like, everyone says I say parfect. Par. Perfect, like P A R. But whenever I say, I'm like perfect, you know. But when I commentate, I like to go like perfect, you know what I mean. And so people hear par. I don't know. It is what it is. What's the other one I say? Um, he won the match. He won the match. He won two rounds to one. He won two games to one. Won. But people want me to say he won the match. He won the match. He won two to one. He won two to one. You know, they want me to say it exactly the same as the number one. But I say one. One. <laughs> say mirror. Mirror. I say I say mirror. But a lot of times when I because I speak fast, I don't feel like enunciating. So I go mur. It's a mirror match. Mirror. Mirror match. Mirror. Distant Cloud said, it's a homonym rip, it's the same pronunciation. That's what I've heard. Murr. It's a murr match. See, watch my mouth, it doesn't move. It's a murr. Murr match. It's a mirror. See, if I move my mouth, mirror. Mirror. Then it becomes two syllables. It's a murr match. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have a South African accent. And the whole thing is... I grew up with a British English accent. So I, so I still accidentally say bath. I, I still say bath. Bathroom? Go to the bathroom. Wash up. You know, it's, like, it's the weirdest shit. It comes back to me, especially if I'm talking to people uh, who have that accent. It comes out of me naturally. It's really weird. Damn, you lost the British accent? Rip that shit's OP. Yeah, well, I was eight years old, 
and a lot of people were making fun of me for saying grass instead of grass. Do I speak Afrikaans? Uh, you know, I was ge I was getting taught Afrikaans in school actually. Uh, I don't remember anything though. Like that's literally if I'd stayed in South Africa like two or three more years, I probably would have learned a lot of Afrikaans. I don't actually know what it actually is, by the way, but I'm gonna try to explain to people. To me, uh, Afrikaans was the white people language of South Africa. I don't know how politically incorrect that is. A lot of people are saying it's Dutch with an accent. Yeah. Yeah, but Afrikaans. If you guys have watched District 9, uh, that's basically how uh, a lot of the Afrikaners talk and speak normal English. Yeah, District 9 is a good-ass movie. Mm -hmm. 